Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're doing um, an idea which you guys obviously wanted because yeah like on last episode which um, I'll get to in a minute you guys really wanted this so if you remember last week we added all of them or we gave the rings of Uranus to all of the planets so it was like a little part two to a live stream I did at 400 subscribers and also speaking of subscribers we are 20 away from 1,400, so that is just absolutely awesome. Yeah, cannot thank everyone enough, um, like usual, because you guys are awesome. Like, I, I wouldn't be doing this if you guys, like, didn't do that. Like, it's, it's just insane how well the channel has been growing recently. Yes, yeah, so you just cannot thank everyone enough. It's, it's just awesome. Like, just, it's so, so, so appreciated. Like, literally just cannot thank you enough. Yeah, so yeah, um, at the 400 special, we did Saturn's rings. We gave all the planets the rings of Saturn. And then last week, we gave all of the planets the rings of Uranus. So today, as you guys requested, and I actually mentioned in the video as well, we're going to give all of the planets the rings of Jupiter, since that's the only one we haven't done. So, yeah, we'll start off with Jupiter, actually, since it is the um, planet that owns the rings. So, I actually do like the rings of Jupiter. They are pretty cool. So, here is Jupiter with the rings of Jupiter. So, that's what we're starting off with today. So, looks good. I like how small or how thin the ring system is. I think it looks really cool. So, there you go. So, that's looking good. So, I, I really do like that. But when you see pictures of Jupiter, you don't really see the rings much. So, it's pretty cool to see Jupiter in its true form almost. Because I don't know if the naked eye can spot the rings for sure. Yeah, if anyone knows, please correct me on that. But yeah, there we go. So, we start off like last week with Mercury. So, let's get straight into this here. So, here is good old Mercury. So, we're going to go ahead and add the rings in. So, let's go and do that. Uh, are we already on Mercury? All right, Jupiter rings. Add rings. So... Oh my god, it looks so insane, like the, um, this is even more crazy than the rings of Uranus, since Jupiter rings are bigger than the Uranus rings, so they're even further out, but look at this, damn. And actually, we'll put the, um, background on just stars, so we can actually see the rings easier, so there we go. Right, so there is Mercury, so next up, we've got Venus, obviously, so let's go to you. So let's go all the way down here, so pretty much the same as Mercury in the way this is going to work, so there you go. Looking good. Alright, next up, we've got Earth, so... Yeah, this is going to be interesting, because I'm definitely not, I'm going to add the moon in like I did last episode, so let's go and do that. So, blah, 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 oh wait, we need to quickly spawn in the new earth, so let's go and do that quickly. So let's just put a new one right there, then we'll delete the old one, make it orbit the sun, like that. Then we can add a moon in, so there we go. Yeah, it's annoying you can't add, if you save a simulation, this setting goes away, which is really annoying, so yeah, that sucks. And now we've got the, the moon at its true distance from Earth, so let's see how far the rings of Jupiter spread from Earth. So if you didn't know, you can fit every single planet in between Earth and the moon, so I don't think the rings are going to reach out to the distance of the moon, but I could be wrong. So here we go like that, and yeah, I was, the rings don't even get anywhere near the, where the moon is, so that's just how far away the moon actually is. You could fit all the planets in between the Earth and the Moon. It's just insane. So, there you go. That's pretty cool, actually. Let's give it to the Moon as well. Why not? <laughs> look, at, look at that. Earth and Moon. So, in fact, before we move on to Mars, let's have a little look from the Earth at the Moon. Oh, wow. That ring system, though. No? Damn. All right, okay. Let's just speed this up quick. I want I want the Moon to go to the other side of the Earth. So, oh, it doesn't work, actually. Look, it looks like the Moon's, just, or the moon's rings just wouldn't work around the Moon since it looks like Earth's gravity is far superior that... It wants to tear the moon's rings away, so... Yeah, that, that didn't really work out so well, but... Yeah, you can pretty much see what it would have looked like, so... Let's go and just land in the north here. Okay, no... Oh, and that, let's go a little more to this side. Okay, let's land here. We should see the moon. Wait, can we see the... No, where's the moon gone? Damn it. <laughs> moon. Let's go here, maybe? Can we see it from here? Okay, there we go. So there's the moon there. You can see how big the rings would be in the sky. And then you've got the earth rings here, as you can see. So no matter where you look in the night, oh, excuse me there, no matter where you look in the night sky, you would see these rings, just like the same with the Uranus and Saturn ones, except these guys are quite far away. So yeah, that's that. I'm pretty sure these are further away than the rings of Saturn are from Saturn. I want to say actually no, no, Saturn's rings are the biggest. What am I saying? I'm pretty sure Saturn's are further. But yeah, there we go. So there is that. All right, next up we've got Mars. So let's go over here. Let's go and add the rings to you. So. There we go, like that, and yeah, pretty much the same as the other four inner, or the other three inner planets, I should say. But anyways, let's go back to Earth and clean up this mess we made, so let's just, let's just go and delete all that, because we don't need the moon anyway, so yeah, let's delete most of the debris here, so there we go, that's pretty much all of it, and there's a few more fragments in there, but oh well, 
that that's pretty much correct so there we go we've got that now we're going to go to saturn since we've already done jupiter so this is going to look interesting so here is good old saturn without any rings but now we're going to add the rings of jupiter to it so there you go wow that actually looks really nice i actually i like that that looks that looks cool i actually really like that i, I think that looks good that, i'm really impressed with the way that looks that looks doesn't that just look good I think that almost looks as good as the Rings of Saturn almost, but I like that. That's that's pretty cool. Alright, so yeah, from a distance, of, if, we were, if you're looking from like Titan, which is Saturn's biggest moon, it probably looks something like this. So, that's looking, that's looking good. I really like that. Alright, next up we've got Uranus. Let's go to my good old custom blue one over here. So, so here we go. So here's good old Uranus. Alright, so... Let's add the rings to you as well. So, oh. So it's basically like a bigger version of the rings of Uranus. Let's just add in a regular Uranus in quick. So let's just put one there. And we'll just compare it to the rings of Uranus just to see how different it is. So let's get this weird looking blue one in here, which clearly does not resemble the real life Uranus at all. So let's add the rings of Uranus in. So as you can see, yeah, Jupiter's rings are bigger than Uranus's, as you can clearly see here. So it's just gone flashlight, and you can see there. So the rings of Uranus end just before the rings of Jupiter start. I want to say, like, we can actually put the or put the inside there. So you can sort of see that. Oh wow, they're even further. Oh no, there's a massive gap in between the last ring here and then the rings of Jupiter. So yeah, these rings are tiny compared to how or the distance of Jupiter's rings. So yeah, that's pretty cool. So let's now go ahead and delete that. Um, inferior uranus so let's get rid of you and get rid of all these rings so there we go all right so yeah the, the uranus the real looking uranus that looks looks pretty interesting i'll say that's good all right and anyway next up we've got neptune i'll see the best planet here so yeah oh look at this thing all right so yeah if you're new to this channel neptune's my favorite planet so that's why i love it <laughs> pretty much so here we go Rings of or rings of Jupiter around Neptune, hmm, definitely not the best. The Uranus rings definitely look better around this guy. Uh, I guess that works. I know it's the rings are quite a far gap. If they were closer, it may look better, but that looks okay, I guess. It's not really anything special there. Anyways, next up, we're definitely doing Pluto because yeah, Pluto's one's always interesting. So let's go to Pluto. So if you remember last week, I added in all of the moons of Pluto. So we're going to go ahead and do that again. So let's get a whole new Pluto in here. So let's place you there. Okay, so it's a little bigger than the one in the simulation for some reason. Because whenever you save Pluto in a simulation, it always delete. It always gets a little smaller, which is really annoying. So, wait, where, where was it? Is it Pluto? We, we lost it. Pluto, where, where you at? Oh, there we go. There we go. So, let's just quickly yeah, get rid of this inferior one. Let's make sure you are orbs in the sun. So... Let's auto orbit and then hit play. Add moons to planets. We'll get Carol and all the other guys. Now we're going to go and add in the rings of Jupiter. So there we go. So we'll go in studio mode so we can actually see everything here. So look how far away these rings are. The whole Pluto system fits inside these rings. So J Jupiter, pretty, I'm pretty sure we could probably fit Jupiter in the middle of that as well. So that's just how small the Pluto system is. Look, Jupiter covers the whole system, I want to say. Yeah, it does. Look. So, Jupiter is so large, it will cover the whole system anyway, and then it's rings. Look at this. The rings of Jupiter are just so enormous. They, they completely surround the the moons of Jupiter. Or the, yeah, the, the moons of Pluto, sorry. So, oh, the moons of Pluto really wobble around a lot. I can never get them to work properly, but, yeah, there you go. So, looking good. It's probably mainly Charon probably causing that problem there. But, I can, yeah, the rings of, or well, the moons of Pluto never work. It's really weird. So there's some of these moons like Sty Styx, Stink, Styx, uh, and then we got Kerbos, and then we got Hydra, which is the coolest one. So there's Hydra. Okay, so yeah, we're not going to go to those moons, but from Carol, we'll go and have a little good look at here. So let's pause it right there. So let's go and land on the North Pole here. Let's put it in um, realistic mode so we can actually have a look. So okay, we can't really see anything. Other than that, okay, there we go. There's Pluto. So you can see Pluto there, and then the rings. Because they're so far away, obviously, they're pretty much invisible. Like, if we just go on flashlight, we can see they're there. But with the realistic mode, you can barely spot them, but they are there. As you can see, they're slightly darker than the normal stars in the night sky. So, you can see them here. So, that's pretty interesting. So, they go all the way up around here. Yeah, you can barely see those guys. So, there, there you go. So, that is pretty cool. So, they're on the horizon of Pluto. Or they'll be on the horizon all of all of Pluto's moons. So, every single moon is inside the rings. So... That's a pretty um, cool little um, system there. I'm pretty sure those rings may wobble around a bit, like the little moons are here. As you can see, like their orbits are going further out than the rings. So, 
maybe this um, gravitational um, trouble going on here could affect the rings in some way. So let's actually speed it up and have a little look. Does it do anything? Can we go any faster? Okay, maybe not. Okay, the rings actually look okay, I think. We'll leave the simulation running though, and then next up, we won't do Iris this time because it's pretty much exactly the same as Pluto, just without the moons. So last up, we've got Planet 9 here. So let's go back to realistic, as you can see. So it's completely dark. And then we're going to add the rings in like so. So let's do that. Add ring, and yeah, it's pretty much invisible. You can just about see him on the color tray of Planet 9 there. So if we go in studio mode, so we can actually see this bad boy. There you go. So that is the rings of Jupiter around Planet 9. So same as Neptune. Looks pretty weird since like the rings are so far out from the planet, but yeah, there you go. So that's um, rings of Jupiter around Planet Nine there. So that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, I definitely think Neptune. Oh no, the winner here is definitely Saturn. Like straight up. Like what do you guys think? Which one looks the best with the rings of Jupiter? I, I'd I'd straight up say Saturn looks the best. Or well, you could say Jupiter, but I, I personally think Saturn looks even better than Jupiter does with it, with Jupiter's rings like this. I think that looks really cool. So let's um, go and add in some more rings here just to really get the effect so there you go so, simulation's a little slow but yeah there you go so there's some lot of rings around there but i think that looks really good we'll compare it to the rings of saturn as well so let's add a new saturn in. just put you there and let's get the rings and we'll go and add some saturn rings here so hmm they both they both have their own little like that's basically like short ring and long ring right there like that's Obviously, the rings of Saturn definitely look better around Saturn than the rings of Jupiter do, but I think the rings of Jupiter look the best around Saturn compared to all the other planets. Like, yeah, that, that definitely looks better than that does. Like, the rings of Saturn just are far superior in just the beauty of them. But, yeah, the Jupiter ones are a lot more simple, and they are, they are unique, though. I do like them, but, yeah, the Saturn rings are definitely the best here. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Which one looks the best with the rings of Saturn? Or the, well, the rings of Jupiter, I should say. Anyways, let's go and delete all that. So, let's get rid of you. Oh. It deleted the wrong one! How, how does that work then? You guys clearly saw I selected this. Like, what the heck? I, I did that and then... Is it, oh, it worked that time, didn't it? That's that's weird. Okay, so let's just go and add new Saturn in quick. Actually, no, we can't actually, I don't think. Um, Saturn, can we add you in? Okay, there we go. So we just add it there somewhere. I don't even know. Oh, is it going to work? Okay, there we go. A little lag spike there. Wow, it's really... Yeah, all these rings are really making the thing go crazy, so let's just go on that. Go back to Saturn here. And then we'll just go and add the rings of Jupiter back, so let's do that. Oh, are you going to add them in, game? Come on, there we go. Alright, so let's now get a chart mode so we can see everything. So, wow, this is insane. <laughs> Look, what is going on here? Well, actually, let's quickly check up on Pluto. Maybe that's the one that's got all these weird rings. So let's go to Pluto. Is that the one where all the rings are mucked up? Is it here? Which 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 system has got all oh, its mucked up? I know it isn't Pluto. Which one is it then? So there's that. Okay, let's go. And let's just quickly check. I want to know which ones are all mucked up. So, okay, Mer oh, it's Mercury. Obviously, because the Sun. Because Mercury wouldn't be able to hold these objects because they're so far away from Mercury. I'm pretty sure the Sun's gravitational pull would be superior than Mercury's one is from this distance of Mercury. So, yeah, look how small Mercury is from this. Like, it's just a little. It looks like a rock as well. So, or a little um, asteroid. So. Oh, that's weird. Look at that rectangle, or that square shape there. That's pretty weird. Yeah, so the sun, I'm assuming, is dragging the rings away from Mercury. So I'm guessing the same is with Venus. Okay, no, Venus hasn't been affected. Because obviously Venus is bigger than Mercury, so it has a bigger gravitational pull because it has more mass as well. So Earth, I'm guessing this one's still slightly mucked up because, yeah, that's just the moon's remains. But, yeah, that's all fine. And then, Ju yeah, everything else should be fine. So, yeah, here we go. So... Obviously, you've got Jupiter. Well, it's really mucked up here. We've got Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Planet Nine, Earth, Venus, Mars, and Mercury, and then Pluto as well. So, which one, which one do you think looks the best with Jupiter's rings? You can't really compare them here. But yeah, which one do you guys think looks the best? Yeah, I definitely think Saturn's the winner here. Yeah, you, tell me what you guys think. That's should be pretty interesting to see what you guys have to say. So yeah, there we go, guys. So that is what happens if you add all or the rings of Jupiter. Oh, wow, that is just frozen. Yeah, that's what happens if you add the rings of Jupiter to every planet in the solar system. Yeah, so tell me which ones you um, think look the best. And yeah, there. So um, yeah, tell me what you think. And anyways, if you got any ideas for another video, feel free to leave them down below. Make sure you also subscribe for more. Helps on the journey to 1,400 subscribers because that would be awesome. And yeah, there we go. So make sure you all have a good day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.